this is bear first day you get him first uh week 10 days you're just going to need to put him on a lead like this and uh tell him lay down and jerk on it a little when you're through telling him that say that'll do here and call him to you patting your side just like that and bring him to you that'll get him used to your voice and used to you and and getting to be buddies with him the more you can take that dog with you and do things with him the better off you are we like to take the dogs to the track uh, before we ever put animals in there and get them used to going to the track I like to lie the dog down before we go in the gate uh, so he understands you want him to lay down and then we open the gate and uh, see how he's making him stay back there he thinks there's sheep in there but there's not uh, so he's going to go through the gate with him and then he's going to walk him around uh, the track and just slowly walk him around the track and get him used to being in your track uh, he's been in a track obviously but we want him to get to used to your track every once in a while he'll down him uh, just to make sure he's listening uh, on that rope and uh, just continue to go around the track with him this is the same thing we'll do when you get goats in there at first is those goats may not want to run they may want to turn around and fight and if you're with that dog you can control the situation if he gets a hold of them you can kind of stop him uh, lie him down but you want him to get a hold of them you're going to want him to make believers out of them we're going to be training your goats to where that they understand they need to be afraid of this dog and you in the track with him and being able to control the situation and not have him go around them and stay behind them and keep them moving uh, whether it's slow or fast is going to be the key then after doing that a few times you'll get in the track uh, with the goats get the goats up uh, by where your gate is to get in the middle and I'll have him just show you what he does he usually downs the dog right where he gets in the middle before he gets in the middle of the track and then he's going to tell the dog sh 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 get him and the dog's going to start looking for him see he's already looking for him because he's been in this track and he doesn't know where they're at now he's queuing off of Raymond here okay so Raymond can make him run yet without even goats in the track. Now you watch. The other thing he can do is whistle. He whistled one time and said, lay down. He sat down. That's fine as long as he stops. Then he raised his right hand and said, continue to go the other this way. Stays behind his shoulder to keep him going that way. Then he can step back in front of him at any time to make him stop and, and say down. Just how he did there. He's going to get back behind him and shoo him around. Of course, if you got the goats in there, it's not going to be hard to just shoo him around. He's looking for something. He's trying to figure out what Raymond's doing right now. But he's running, basically. See how Raymond just went over in front of the dog to stop him? He stopped him right there. That'd give the goats time enough to get by and just keep him rolling around and uh, stay kind of in a small circle right behind that dog's left shoulder until you want to stop him. And then you kind of step in front of him. You can do a short whistle uh, and say down or just say lie down. And uh, if he's getting close to him and you want him to slow him down, you can say easy and kind of growl at him, say his name. Uh, but the first week to 10 days, I would work either, uh, well, the first week, 10 days, work with him on a cord, starting off a 12, 6, 8, 12-foot cord, work up to a 20-foot cord, allow him to get out there, say that'll do here and call him to you, lie him down, uh, pat your leg when you say that'll do here, say good boy, get him used to your mannerisms, your voice, and your commands. Uh, let him get in the backyard and get to 20 foot lead on him and let him get way away from you and say that'll do and jerk on if he doesn't come right away jerk on it and make him come to you if he comes right away there's no need to jerk on it just say uh, that'll do here you can also down him just like he did there and say lie down and then say that'll do here and get him lying down coming to you respecting the rope respecting your voice understanding your commands and then you can take him in the track just like we did without any goats and get him acclimated to the track without goats so that when you get him in there with goats, it's not any different than it was with you there except he's going to be a little higher drive. He's going to be ready to get after him a little more than he is obviously if there's not any in there. But that's kind of how we would suggest you start him and get him used to him. If you have a goat that wants to fight, walk him up, 
encourage him to bite, even hit the goat on the head, maybe blade a little bit. If you have one really want to fight, I don't mind grabbing them in the rear flank or rear leg and really letting that dog get a hold of them, make a believer out of them. You want to release the goat and the dog to stay behind and keep everything going the right way. Uh, but that's the first video I have. We may try to do another one follow up, but I'll send this one to you and we'll go from there. Thanks. This will show you loading him in the pickup or in the trailer. Uh, he just says hop up or get up and pulls him up in there or leads him up in there. Usually gets him on one side or the other. I'll have him demonstrate it again. And there he goes, hops up and then he praises him for it, tells him to get down. All right.